Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our first League of Legends match of the season. It's in Battle for Florida, the Invitational, and it pits Florida Southern College against Full Sail University. I'll be one of your casters tonight. My name is Coach Antor, and alongside me is... Uh, synthetic Curie. Syn CJ. There, Synthetic <laughs> Curie. So, we've got a pretty good league team this year. We have. I'm really excited about it. Um, uh, and this is the first round of, of Battle for Florida, which is an invitational of all the Florida schools. There are 14 schools competing in this one, and it the, the finals will be at USF uh, in November uh, for the two teams that make it. Pretty excited about that. Um, Has Full Sail played any games yet? Not to my knowledge. I don't know. We've all played games. I just don't know. None of them have been in official capacity, to my knowledge. So this will be kind of the first uh, official official view we'll have on these uh, these two squads. Um, who do you look to to make the biggest plays for Florida Southern? Um. Of course, I look towards the jungler. Being a jungler, I know they are going to have a lot of map influence. But also, I know our bot lane is super strong this year, and I have a lot of faith in our support to bring out some of the potential from the ADC and the rest of the team. For sure. Yeah, we got Paramore returning as their support um, senior year last year to have him on the squad. Uh, definitely look to him for leadership and to set the tone. Dragowski's our jungler again this year. Tonight... Javi is out, so we have Duraikon, who is a name that uh, our fans will recognize. He'll be playing ADC. We've got, and then we've got two freshmen in the mid lane and top lane. We got Prince in the top, and we have Nebula in the mid lane. Really excited to see how this team does as we get here into draft. See a couple bands for Florida Southern, uh, MF and Hecarim, and then on Full Sail's side. They have Senna, Talia, and then Trundle. And the last band for Florida Southern looks to be Diana, potentially. Yeah, I'm, I haven't seen Kyle play in the mid lane par Paramore. No, Nebula. Nebula. And I think he will also. If he gets some solo kills mid lane, I want to see what he can do. Yeah. Nebula is definitely a scary, uh, scary player, yeah. especially when he gets ahead. Uh, he recently hit Challenger. I think he's decayed back to Grandmaster, high, high GM, but a uh, fantastic player. Really excited to see what he does as a mock. Full Sail picking up the first pick here as uh, the Maokai gets taken off the board. And now we look over to Florida Southern as they hover the Udir. I think that's going to be Maokai top lane, support. Good question. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I should have looked at the OP.GG's uh, of these teams, but I haven't in a couple days. I should probably look that up. We'd probably find a little bit more out uh, knowing what their champ pools are. They will pick the Udir and the Karma will be going into the bot lane. Paramore does like playing Karma. Seraphine chosen for full sale. A Seraphine Yumi bot lane? Question mark? No, oh, or Renata. That is a scary champ. That's an interesting champion there. A lot of AP on the side of Full Sail right now. They're going to have to look for some AD champions in their last two picks. As Florida Southern now has the last pick of this round, this first half of uh, the pick ban phase. As they hover Ezreal and pick it. Looks like it'll be Karma Ezreal bot lane. It will be a Karma, Karma Ezreal bot lane. I know Duraikon does enjoy the Ezreal 
when he's playing ADC. And now we hop into the next group of bands. Silas being hovered by Florida Southern and banned. Interesting decision. I, I think uh, Silas is another AP champion. Um, and not a champion I would suspect full sail to pick. Now full sail looks to ban. Have their ban. Hmm. And they ban the Varus. Interesting decision. I guess full sail disagrees with my idea that Ezreal is the bottom. <laughs> Maybe, or they think Varus could go top. I, I'm... Or maybe it was a mistake. I, I don't know. Interesting decision. Now Florida Southern gets their next ban. See how they go. They pick the Zeri. Zeri is a champion. That uh, could go mid lane, I suppose. I said it also could be a Seraphine mid ADC. Doubting support. I thought I changed it. Go to see some or uh, docs and down this uh, history of information. Damn. Oh no, I go down. Yeah, I forgot to change that. And the last ban is Zillion. FSC's turn to pick. Fiora top lane potentially here. They do pick the Fiora, so Prince will be taking Fiora top lane. And now we look to full sail again. I. Uh, as I mentioned, I they have to pick an AD champion. There it is. The hover on Akshan. Oh, but then they pick the Gangplank. So the Gangplank top against the Fiora. Their last pick for full sale. We shall see. As they almost run out of time and they pick the Graves. Is so that right. Graves going jungle, I'm, ass well, I'm assuming? Graves jungle, Maokai mid? Um, yeah, I am not sure. I, I doubt they'd play Renata and Mount Guy bot lane. I would doubt <laughs> so as well, but I mean, I've seen crazier things, I guess. FSC now deciding who to take mid lane. It looks like they're going to pick the Azir, and they will. Nice. They will pick that Azir. So now as we transition back over into the lobby and get ready for uh, kickoff. We're going to take a little bit of a break here and we'll be back when we have loaded back onto the rift. Fine. I don't need more enemies. Not a problem. Grounded!
charm changed me for long. I am forsaken. No spark between us anyway. Inevitably.
And we are live here. Woo! After a little bit of a <laughs> spectator bug fun stuff, we are loaded back in. Here we go. So it is that Maokai top lane. Should be an interesting uh, game here. I think that's a good matchup for Fiora in the Maokai. It'll be interesting to watch that lane. Pretty standard here. We got a little bit of a kind of five point ish esque. Um, Florida Southern throws that ward onto their red. Make sure that uh, Full Sail doesn't do anything too cheeky. Pretty standard start here. See, uh, I'm interested to watch Nebula in the first couple minutes, see how much harass he puts down in this lane, potentially force Gangplank to uh, back off a bit. He's already getting a bit down already. Yes, he is. That's an interesting. Definitely keep an eye on the top lane. Prince does like to be <laughs> aggressive. like every Florida Southern lane is pressuring pretty hard right now. Definitely. Definitely kind of expect that. Uh, full sails. Oh. oh, a little bit of a trade there going in on the side of Florida Southern. Oh, looking for something. Paramore getting lane. the stun. A nice right. first blood for Duraikon. A beautiful, Goodness. beautiful stun by Paramore. Pretty fast kill from Florida Southern. Yes, it is. You can see here that uh, Dragowski is already on his red. He's known for his quick clears. Definitely focusing on that, that clear. Not necessarily trying to make anything crazy happen so early on. Nebula not getting the better side of some of these trades. Farming looks good in the top lane. Dragowski definitely clearing his jungle yeah. a lot quicker. Dragowski is flying through that jungle. Uh, Ezreal picking up that kill will put him ahead. Prince is just trying to break this freeze here, trying to yeah. crash the wave and potentially get a back off, I'm assuming. Dragowski's already got the top scuttle. Yeah, Dragowski's just to get in there. Dragowski is, is clearing these this jungle so much quicker. It's kind of already where their graves is. Looks like he's rotating bot side for bot side scuttle. Nice trade there by Nebula. We see Dragowski looking for a uh -oh. gank here in the bot lane. The root. A nice root, a lot some of stuns. Going down. A lot it's of damage. Kill. This time going on to Dragowski. Gangplank had to use TP mid lane. There's a lot of resources being expended here on the side of full sail for not a lot of return. And Dragowski did get that other scuttle. He did. Double scuttle. <laughs> On the side of Florida Southern. Yeah, Prince is just all over him up top lane. Prince has got double the farm of this Maokai. <laughs> I am sure Prince is loving his life right now. Dragon spawning here pretty soon. We'll see how quickly Florida Southern reacts to that. We already see a 2k gold lead on the side of Florida Southern at 5 minutes. It's pretty massive. A good trade by the Maokai there. Trying to alleviate some of the pressure he's been experiencing in that top lane. As Fiora is going to have to back and reset. This mid lane's a pretty even 
pretty even so far. Good trades back and forth. Good farm. That was a nice trade there by Azir. But the sustainability of Gangplank has allowed him to stay in this. Yeah. He's doing good to keep those barrels down. Mm-hmm. Karma looking potentially here at a gank mid. Udir's also in the area. Gangplank might be caught oh. out here. Definitely caught out, but he's going to he flash away. Still gets stunned. Paramore. So close. Paramore. Not quite enough, but that'll be a flash going. Florida Southern's going to look Drake here. They will. That opens up the Drake for them right now. And should be uncontested as Graves enters the top side of Florida Southern's jungle. Even farm in the bot lane. Uh oh. Oh, Zero's not in any real trouble. Malkai having to back again in the top lane. He's down by half of Fiora's farm. Yeah, that of Fiora is probably going to be pretty scary. Especially when we start uh, breaking down some turrets. So Jagowski's probably finishing up that Drake. It's kind of a long Drake there. Yeah, I think he soloed it. <laughs> Not a lot of damage going out from uh, the Udir, at least at this point. Florida Southern looking to freeze the lane in the bot side. Going to try to starve out this Seraphine as much as they can. Push this lead in, uh, with some aggression. And it's looking pretty successful right now. Seraphine and Renata are both level four still, yeah. while Florida Southern oh. is level five. A nice little engage there. Going in pretty tough. A flash Actually. coming out. Uh oh. For He's Renata, a nice stun. It. That was barely gonna get out with his life. No, Ezreal picking up the kill on Renata. Uh oh. Oh, the Azir all knocking Gangplank away. Gangplank's gonna throw an all, trying to get out of this, but Jurgowski not quite gonna be able to do it. Jurgowski living. Jurgowski just enough calculated that. To the last sliver of health as Florida well, Southern well. takes their fourth kill of the first game. Got a 3.4 thousand gold lead so far. This gold lead is getting larger <laughs> as, this, uh, oh. as this team continues to take advantages across the map. Prince going one-on-one -on -one with his Maokai. In here. There are a lot of minions, and Prince is taking a lot of damage uh -oh. as he takes a turret shot. <laughs> Escapes with just a little bit of health. Gets out of there. This Florida Southern bot lane is looking pretty scary. Yes, absolutely. This they were tied around. They were they were even with about thirty farm, but now Ezreal has oh. sixty farm, while Seraphine still has about thirty. Can't Paramore quite land the stun the there. Paramore playing extremely aggressive. I like it. It's been paying off. Absolutely. He's picked up three out of the four assists that he could. Maokai picking up a, some farm and uh, starting to claw back a little bit on that side. This is the first time Prince has been under his turret. Dragowski ganking top lane, trying to get a kill on this Maokai. Graves is rotating up. Doesn't, doesn't look like we'll be able to help. <laughs> a nice kill there by Dragowski. Maokai He's goes down. with him. Graves does not know he stayed. Now they're going to 1v1 to the death here. Graves oh, misses oh. his shot. He's going to have quite a bit of ability to, to move out of there. As now there's some exchanges happening in the mid lane. Rift Herald is up. Rift Herald is up. Uh, looks like Dragowski's going to take their blue first and then probably rotate to the Rift Herald. This gold lead is now at 4.2 thousand. Every minute that goes by, this gold lead increases for Florida Southern. I'll look at it. And it, yes, looks like they're on that Herald. Across the board, Florida Southern has a farm lead in every lane as well. Where a lot of that gold was able to come from. It was five kills. Yeah, Florida Southern up 4K gold at this point. Fiora with a 
farm lead in the top lane. Yeah, this Ezreal's been playing by himself bot lane for a while, but it doesn't look like... Oh, uh, looks like so is Ezreal is getting <laughs> shut down. Him. As Graves sits in the bot side, Renata throws an ult. They do pick up that kill against the Ezreal. Mid turrets, the first turret destroyed. Maokai might be able to get this kill, but we're not going to try. <laughs> not sure. Maokai now chasing the Fiora. Out there. Like second southern. mid turret coming down. Nice pick up there. It's going to create a lot of pressure on the map. Especially in the mid lane, as Dragon is going to be coming up here shortly as well. And it should be Florida Southerns with little uh, difficulty. It's now a 5k gold lead. <laughs> it's going, going and going. Quite large. Dragon spawning. It does not look like Full Sail is going to be able to contest this dragon. I don't believe so. We see Gangplank in the mid lane. Graves is topside, not even considering fighting <laughs> for the dragon. Potentially oh. looking for a gank here in top lane, though. Fiora just... Quite a bit faster, although they're catching up to him. Oh, he's Graves still there. The fight. Not sure why Prince is staying for this fight, but he's running. Zero, Nebula zero. coming in to save the day, potentially a nice alt there. One. Fiora gets the first kill. And there's two. Gotta kills. pick up the second. Double kill for Prince. Dragowski in the bot lane wreaking havoc now they're looking for a oh. dive potentially here oh, there's one that's one kill that's the uh, that's gang two. alt coming out Boudier uh, takes the turret aggro and everyone escapes unscathed what is that 8,000 gold lead now we are seeing <laughs> an 8.5 thousand gold lead at 13 minutes Florida Southern looking extremely strong right now The kill count is 9 for the side of Florida Southern, 1 for the side of Full, full Sail. Strogowski looks for another clear on his jungle. We're going to pick in the bot lane, pick up the last piece of this turret here. As the bot turret goes down. I think the map's pretty much opened up for Florida Southern. It very much has. Maokai continues to engage a little bit on this extremely aggressive Fiora. <laughs> Good trade for Fiora. Objective bounties for Full Sail are coming up. That could give Full Sail some opportunities to, to call back a little bit or get some gold onto certain champions of theirs. Fiora definitely feeling a little bit of hurt here from this Maokai. Dragowski getting pretty aggressive in their jungle. Graves now in the area. Keep potentially running down Graves here. Karma with a little oh, bit of damage. That's going to be a kill. Dragowski picking it up. And another kill there for Florida Southern as Nebula picks one up under turret. And this Maokai looks like he's in some dire straits. <laughs> there are four Florida Southern <laughs> oh, no. champions here as they're going to pick up the kill and back? the turret. No. Nebula trying to get out here. There's two full sail champions coming towards him. Oh, he brings up the turret. 
as he goes down. Could not get out. That gangplank can, has quite a bit of movement there. We do see quite a bit of shutdown gold on the board for this Udir. If Full Sail can uh, capitalize on that. Objective bounties are also up if there's a turret or a dragon they can pick up. There's some opportunities here on the map for Full Sail to get some gold. If, uh, if they make some type of a play here. I didn't see, but I feel like... Florida Southern's turrets are still pretty healthy. I think they the are. <laughs> I think they are. The second Rift Herald is up, and it looks like Jagowski's going for it. Yep, just picking up those neutral objectives as they spawn. Definitely makes uh, makes for a strong uh, argument here for Florida Southern. Now Kai Alts Jagowski's flashes. On him. As Dragowski, <laughs> just gonna suffocate him down. Fiora now, com battling one v two for some reason here in the the uh -huh. bot lane, Looks getting like some nice get kills here, landing what she needs to land. One more, and picks up the All last right. one there. Florida Southern does have the Rift Herald. Interested to see where they use it. Yes, I'm assuming Dragowski picked it up. Yep. Looks like they're heading towards the dragon. That'll be their third dragon. That gold lead is now at 13,000. It is extending is. evermore. Nebula up two levels against this Maokai. Looks like another Remember. uncontested Drake for Florida Southern. Now Renata heading up. Gonna Renata throw the all. all. Coming out. It does does oh, it hit does him. Land. Nazir Alt will push Malkai right towards Ezreal as Ezreal. Oh, looks like Malkai's do going down. Fiora picking up a kill. Nata's going down. Dragowski is bot lane and he still has that herald. Fiora picking up that kill. Now Azir and Karma are both very low here, escaping with just a sliver of health as Dragowski pushes the bot lane. Now Prince going in. Getting some good with, damage off. With Ezreal. A good parry. We'll secure the second kill. Fiora going to pick up that ace. That Herald is bought. This is looking... Looking good for Florida Southern. Absolutely. Looking like the Base second... Is broken open. Uh, yeah, potentially the third uh, inhib going down. Now Shelly is going to try to get oh. another hit off. I don't know if they oh, they're accomplish gonna it. The herald. They did ignore the herald. <laughs> oh, all right. A lot going on down here. Southern. Nice pick up there. <laughs> Karma living with a sliver of health. Prince just going to focus his attention onto the turrets, looking like he's going to potentially end the game here. Florida Southern just suffocating this full sail team. Ezreal laying down a lot of damage. Ezreal, oh, ton the Azir of damage. Ult. A nice Azir all and the pickup on Is that another Seraphine. Ace? That's game one to Florida Southern College. 19 minutes and 12 seconds. Florida Southern College picks up game one in this best of three series. GG's. That's that game one. Game. That was a quick, <laughs> very few mistakes game for Florida Southern. So what do we learn from game number one? Um, Looks like Florida Southern has a lot more of the pressure as far as 1v1 matchups go, and Dragowski seems to have a quicker clear than Full Sail's jungler. We'll see what the jungle picks next time. I'm interested to see what Full Sail does to come back from that. Yeah, it's a that was a that was rough. That was. I mean, they. I feel like they started pretty even for a couple minutes, but by five minutes we were yeah. we were at like a three k gold weight difference. And it just kept growing.
All right, we're going to take a little bit of a break here. We'll be right back with the picks and bans for game number two.
We are back with uh, picks and bans for game number two. Florida Southern takes game number one pretty handily. 19 minutes, 12 seconds. I'm not keeping track. I'm just <laughs> – I looked. Uh, they looked really strong game one. Florida Southern did the mocks. Um, communication seemed to be good from what the team told me. Um, and now we're already seeing a different-looking uh, team for both sides. We've got Heckram being picked on the side of Florida Southern. Zaya being picked for full sale, which is a different bot lane already, going with a little bit of a AD there. Pantheon being hovered and picked. Looks like they decided AP wasn't the decision. Uh, you know, AD. <laughs> maybe they heard us talking about it on the stream of, hey, you guys, you need to pick some AD champions. They decided to do that. Now they're lacking on the AP side <laughs> currently, but we'll see who they pick uh, for the third. Florida Southern now has the picks. Uh, the next two picks here. Oh. Maokai being hovered. Will it be picked? Uh, Florida Southern. Yes. All right. <laughs> they will be picked. Maokai going for Florida Southern. Where that's going? Probably support. Support or top. My guess is support, but I could be wrong. I would like to see. Uh, I'd be I'd be surprised if Prince picked Maokai. Yeah, he's not a very heavy damage. I don't, I don't know if he's ever played Maokai. Well, he's probably played Maokai, but he doesn't play yeah. it regularly. Um, Caitlyn being hovered could be a Maokai Caitlyn bot lane. That would be fun. Paramore is like, hey, I saw your oh. Maokai. I can one up it. <laughs> Jin now coming out. There's some good synergies there with Maokai's uh, little saplings exploding and then a stun with Jin. I'd be um, interested to could see where this cool. Pantheon goes because that is a flex pick can almost go yes, anywhere. Yes, absolutely. Could be very difficult to ban f uh, full sale in the second round if we don't get some information on where this Pantheon's going uh, from this third pick. Two seconds oh. left. We're looking at the pike. You know, All Pike right. can even be a flex yeah, pick. He can... I'm assuming Pike's going to be going support, but could be going mid. Could be jungle. I don't even know at these, this point. Um, I don't think Pike jungle works out as well anymore. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> I don't know. It was a thing at some point. <laughs> it was. You know? Yeah. Pantheon was the first champion I ever played, actually. Hmm. That's what, for the first year or two of playing League, that's all I played was Pantheon top. And then they reworked him, and I'm not a fan anymore. <laughs> so, Leona has won my heart. Yeah. A um, couple, couple bands here. Uh, the Azir band coming out. Looking like targeted bands toward the mid lane. Yeah. Third, third, potentially third band uh, against Nebula. I do like Nebula Zillion. It's a scary thing to see. This is true. Hovering that last ban here on the Zillion. It does go through. Full sail. Or now Florida Southern. Hovering Diana. Trying to limit their AP possibilities here. Right. Again, full sail. Picking three AD champions this time. Now they have to pick up some AP. How they do that, we shall see. Full sail with nine seconds left to pick. Not even a hover yet. <laughs> Five seconds. Fiora oh. being hovered. Oh, wow. Wow. A reverse matchup. Yeah. Do their top laner does their top laner think they can uh, they can one up Prince's Fiora? Now Florida Southern will have some picks. Oh. Jax. Now Prince is a <laughs> Prince's favorite champion. Usually is Fiora. He knows matchups very well and will be uh, looking to pick a counter. I'm assuming it's going to be Jax. It is going to be Jax. I'm if, not sure if you have Prince friended, but his current tag right now is Jax is a bad champion. So <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's because Jax might have tilted him in solo queue. Uh, but we'll see. Morgana being hovered for this mid laner. Three seconds left here. And Ari. Ari. Nebula does like Ari. 
Nebula plays a mean Arya. I mean, he plays a mean a lot of things, <laughs> but uh, definitely Ari. Ari's going to look good here. They definitely need some additional AP, and Ari will do that. Now full sail with the last pick. Hovering a Yi. Is this a Pantheon mid? This may be a Pantheon mid. They have an awful lot of AD. They don't even have an AP champion. Last last game they had, what, four AP champions? This game, they don't want any. I guess so. Cause... They are full AD. I don't know who is running draft for full sale, but uh, this is an interesting decision. Four melee champs as well. Four melee champions. Unless you count, like, Pantheon Spear. <laughs> um... It'll yeah, no real engaged. tanks. There, it's all just run at them. Potentially, maybe they look split pushing something or another. All right. Um, yeah. Let's see. FSC looks like a Hecarim Jungle, Gen ADC, Maokai Support, Jax Top, and Ari Mid. Pretty balanced team yeah. top. Pretty standard, I guess, at this point. Other side, I don't know. <laughs> Different. Different. All right. Well, we start getting loaded into this game number two. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and we will be right back.
And we are back. We are loaded into the rift as we see a oh. <laughs> double invade by both teams going the opposite direction. Um, we are full sail on the red side this time. We'll see how that changes things. Yes. Uh, both teams in the opposite side of the other jungle. You see Florida Southern drops a ward onto the enemy red. You see f <laughs> full sail dropping a ward on there on on the Florida Southern red as well. Um, I like Full Sail's bot lane here. Zaya and Pike are both champions that I think can do a lot on their own and do really well together. Definitely. There's a lot of, uh, I think there's a, there's a lot of synergy on both sides of this bot lane. I think it'll be interesting to see how each take advantage of those. I think I, I'm really excited to see a little bit of a Maokai. Uh, Wait, that's a Yi mid. Yi mid. Huh. Whoa. I didn't even realize that. We have a Yi mid. Interesting. For those of you who do not know, Yi mid is a little not not very doesn't happen very often. That's <laughs> not a normal pick. <laughs> not for normal. Mid. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's not meta. <laughs> yeah. Drycon getting spotted. Oh. A nice pull by Pike there. Maokai going in. Oh. Ignite coming out from Paramore. That pike is gonna be pretty low. See Pantheon trying to gank top side. This is going to be a good lane for Nebula again to get some poke off in the early game. There it is. Pike missing on that grab there. Hecarim is on that blue side, but Full Sail does know. they. Dragowski just saw that ward die, so they know they're... Uh, they know that full sail knows. Now Pantheon trying to get a gank top, not does not do enough damage at this point in the game. Dragowski looks like he's taken their Gromp as well. Dragowski is just taking the entire jungle. <laughs> All of the jungle belongs to him. Uh oh, Nebula in a little bit of trouble. Nice flash I there. Flash out of there. Oh. Pike gets the hook uh -oh, there. Paramore That's a lot of damage down on Paramore. His He's going to go blood down. Full sail. It's a nice first blood by Full uh -oh. Sail. Now Duraikon might be getting come. caught. Uh -oh. Nebula lands the stun, and it's well enough. Done by Nebula. Uh oh. Pike gets the pull. Pike is coming. And that is going to be enough as Zaya flashes forward. Dragowski's there. Might pick up the double kill here, potentially. Looks like he's focusing Zaya. A nice kill there by Prince. Hecarim going to get that kill on Zaya. Now, Ari coming down bot. Probably low health. Can't see quite at this moment, but I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like she's about a fifth of her health. Okay. Overall, pretty even trades as far as kills go, but it looks like Jagowski got a lot of the Pantheon's farm. Looks like we might have a spectator bug here on the items. <laughs> yeah, looks like neither our CS kills or deaths are loading. Dragon is coming up in 20 seconds. We'll see what that means for Florida Southern. Oh, Prince going in on this Fiora. Nice little fight here. If you are going to get away. We do see Zaya has the quiver. So Zaya does have a lead with two kills now. Florida Southern has to be careful in this bot lane. Pike hook coming out. That pike hook is going to get really annoying really fast. For this Florida Southern bot lane. Pantheon looking mid. Dragon is up. Full Sail has enough vision oh. on it, though. Paramore, nice engaged there. Stun. Oh. Doesn't Pantheon's quite land. looking top. 
Pantheon has not been able to do much farming. He is at half the farm of Dragowski. He's been focused on trying to save and gank some of these lanes. We've got one kill for each Florida Southern's top lane, jungle, and mid lane. Looks like Florida Southern's pushing in bot, maybe looking to get a recall off before this dragon. This game is a lot closer than game one as... Florida Southern only has about a 300 gold lead at six minutes. Some nice poke by Nebula. Nebula's picking oh, up some extra gold. Duraikon chasing mice. down Duraikon. Duraikon did not know that he was standing on a ward, and that is going to be unfortunate as Zaya picks up a third kill. Looks like this Yi is not able to step up and farm. No, this Yi is... is Ari gets stronger and stronger. It's going to be more and more difficult for Yi to keep up on this farm. Prince really bullying this Fiora. Just getting little trades off on her. Nice trade there. Oh. Is that going to be enough? Looks like Ignite goes kill. out. Oh, that's a good W from Master Yi. It is. Going to escape with his life. Prince with Prince the dive. going in. Does a he dive? Live? I don't think he's going to he live. Does not live. But he's executed. That kill does not go on to Fiora, which and is Hecarim big is news. two levels up on this Pantheon and takes his red buff. This Pantheon is getting starved out of his own jungle. He has not been able to do much. He is down 24 farm against this Hecarim. Jax does have a shutdown now, so that execution was good. Uh oh. A nice charm Nebula. there landed. Oh, Hecarim is there. Another Picks kill up the Dugowski. kill. It was close. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure Hecarim was going to pick it up, but he does. Dragon's still up. Florida Southern has not tried to go for it at this point. Now, without... Uh, with. With a little bit of a deficit in bot lane, it's it's a little bit more risky to go for that dragon as it was last game. Pike looking, always looking for those hooks. Maokai can check those bushes with his sapling. Maokai is down two levels to the Zaya as well. Hecarim looking for a gank potentially bot side here. Do a lane gank. Ward goes down. Maokai getting vision on the Pantheon. Hecarim now moving towards Dragon. Going to start it up. The solo lanes for Florida Southern look like they're dominating right now. They are definitely getting a quite large farm lead all across the map. Oh, another dive from Prince. Prince should be able to finish That's this off. Fiora ult. There it is. Flash for flash, and he gets the kill. Nice trade bot there. Now fight. bot lane. Pike flashes, tries to get the stun, cannot quite do it. Nebula now 1v1ing. Dragowski is bot lane. Oh, this pike is in some dire straits. <laughs> there, as Duraikon picks up the kill off of his ultimate. Uh oh, W. Stunned there on Zaya. Paramore still does not have his ultimate ability. But I believe Florida Southern and got that dragon. All by Hecarim there. Uh -oh. Not going to be able to do enough oh, damage no. now. Potentially caught as Dragowski's out of mana. Pantheon. Dragowski's out of mana and out of health as he <laughs> gets shut down. That shutdown going to Pantheon. Now Nebula in a pretty interesting situation is now Pike is going to be able oh. to do some things. Doesn't Paramore quite get the... trying to pick it up. Although, looks like he, he's he going to get live. out of there. Oh, oh. Look at the Prince sliver! Down. Look at the sliver! Pike ult is on cooldown. A 
that could have gone better for Florida Southern also could have gone worse. This is true. Zayas just getting a bigger farm lead down there by herself. I do not think Dariacon can 1v1 her. I don't believe so either. Although they both have the same items, but on her return she'll have a uh, her mythic. Yep. Looks like she went with Kraken Slayer. She got the Kraken Slayer. Probably a good pick against this team comp. Yep. Got a couple big tanks on the side of Florida Southern. Florida Southern really keeping them from farming. Look at those farm numbers. Yeah. Prince, Prince is, is now up 40. Again. 40 farm. A and dive here with Paramore. Nice. Nebula putting down some damage. Picks up the last turret plate. A nice stun there. Now oh. the alt from Jin. Finishes Antion it off. Coming in. He might be dead here. He is dead. Dragowski picking up the kill against Pantheon. There is no one in the bot lane for Florida Southern, but they do get a top turret. And potentially a mid turret as well. Yeah. We'll see what they try to do about bot lane. They are going to head down bot lane. There are some wards there, so Full Sail will know of their presence. They back off now. Jax looking to steal the red buff of Full Sail. This Pantheon cannot catch a break. <laughs> this Pantheon has not been able to farm his jungle in a very long time. And just looking at the levels here, Ari is level 10, and I believe the next highest is Dragowski at 9, Jax 10, and. Full sail is not. Oh, there. He just hit nine. Pantheon alt coming in to save the day. Create a little space so Hecarim backs off. Hecarim did throw alt there. That's a 5k gold lead right now. Maokai's in the area. Oh. This is going to be a full, pretty full fight here. Ari's coming down. A Maokai sapling going to do quite a bit of damage. Slow him a little bit. A stun on Pantheon. Maokai Ari's picking here. up a kill. Now Ari's here. We've got a party here looking good for Florida Southern. Zaya going to throw an ult. Oh, Yi right picks on. up a kill on Jin. Prince still chipping away at that top lane. Prince is loving his situation right now. Oh, a nice, Ari. nice charm there. I wish there was a way to see, like, total gold for each champion. I think that would be a neat feature. There is. There is. But I don't remember what the button uh, is. Well, that's going to be another solo kill for the Jacks. Just really widening that lead in the top lane. Oh, this poor Pantheon. Florida Southern turning their attention to the second dragon. Ari might be looking for the Zaya. Oh, she backs off. Pike. Now a oh, TP coming in. There's a coming in for this dragon. There's a big presence from and a good smite uh, from Dragowski. A smite by Dragowski. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. It says stolen by Blue Team, but I don't know if that's a steal. Yeah. As Blue Team has been doing all the work on that. Oh. Pantheon trying to get some damage down on Duraikon. Not going to be able to do much there as his teammates come to his aid. Looks like Florida Southern is going to push in that mid lane. Florida Southern now up almost 10k in the gold <laughs> lead here. going to take this turret pretty swiftly. Pike coming in. Oh, Pike trying Paramore. to 
Nice Terrible kill with there. Good engage there. He gets out. Pantheon too. with the ult. Trying to put some damage down on Durykon. Dragowski. Can't quite finish it off. Dragowski out of mana. Not going to be able to do much here. Just trying to get Ari's out. Ari's in the fight now. Fiora trying to pick up some kills here. Might get the she kill on one. Maokai and does. But looks like four full sail players are dead again. You've got a top side of the map completely dominant on the side of Florida Southern. A combined kill kills on the top side of 16 against uh, Full Sail's 4. That mid-jungle top side looking very strong. And Dracon seems to have made a pretty big comeback. Dracon has too. come back. Now 4 and 3. Ari right, picking up that turret top lane, missing the charm. Doesn't look like it'll affect the fight too much. Fiora ulting. Trying to put down some damage, but Nebula's just looking really <laughs> strong. Yeah, you better turn away there. That's uh -oh. Oh, Jin with an ult. A flash by Fiora. <laughs> Blocked by her own pike. And a double kill by Jin. Oh, Jin getting jumped on by this Pantheon. Jin is caught a little bit here, code. but has oh. the blast cone. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Taking the triple kill. Dive for Prince. Prince going to pick that up. Probably going to go down here. <laughs> yes. And a shutdown on the side of Full Sail for that Yi. Harold will be up in 15 seconds. We'll see if Florida Southern can pick that up before they head back to base. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if they uh, take more than just the turret or if they uh, escape right after. It looks like they're going to back off. After taking that turret, looking potentially towards Rift Herald. Clearing the jungle also. This red is up. I don't know if... Has, has Pantheon gotten a single red all game? I think one. I think one? he got the first You think one. the first one? Yeah, because okay. he started top side. Got it. In his own jungle, but I don't think he's had red and blue buff at the same time yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough day for Pantheon. Oh, looking to contest this Rift Herald. I don't know if there's a whole lot I you said, can do. I don't think that's what they want to I, do. I don't think so either. Um, Fiora going to go out. down. And now Mike, Maokai down. throwing down an ult. I don't think it's going to oh, catch anyone. Nebula. Nebula just looking massive. Holy get, cow. He gets the reset from each kill. Pantheon just gets erased. Oh, you Yee gonna going to ult. Dragowski. I don't think that's the fight you want, <laughs> bud. And Dude, it's not. Picked up the kill. Does help Jax is in the vicinity, but I don't even know if that that made a difference. First inhib going down, Florida Southern may potentially look to end here. See if they can beat the last time, what was it, 1926? The last one was 1912. Oh, 1912. I don't I don't think they're gonna do that. They might try, but I don't <laughs> think they accomplished that goal. Uh oh. Oh Two my. going down okay. to Nebula. Alright, okay, Nebula. Alright. <laughs> Holy, oh my goodness. Oh, they have And a Jin ult to finish it off? Oh. Do they, f I think they finish. I think they do. 1908. Beat what a game, game one by four <laughs> seconds. That escalated quickly. That, yeah, that was that a lot was closer for like the 15 first, minutes. Yeah. And then a few good fights, then Florida Southern really ended it. That is going to be the series as Florida Southern picks up the win 2-0. to zero. And that concludes the first match of the Battle for Florida Invitational. They will be back in action next Tuesday against Florida Atlantic University. Same time, but it'll be on the USF Twitch channel. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I believe it's USF underscore esports. They will be running the broadcast next week um, as the mocks hopefully close out the group stage undefeated. But until next time, again... I want to shout out my lovely co-host, <laughs> Synthetic Curry, for joining me, Coach Antor, on the cast. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for tuming it in. We'll t uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you all later. Peace.